we're going to be talking about The Legend of Calamity Jane. That was quickly cancelled and left in obscurity as she fights the criminals and injustice around the town of Deadwood. Calamity Jane is a rarity because it is a western show that takes itself pretty seriously and it deals with some pretty heavy issues like the US military's treatment of the natives as well as racism and prejudice and showing that there were good people on each side as well as also people who weren't as morally upright on both sides. And it's very puzzling that the show got buried the way it did. The show clearly cost a lot of money judging by the high quality of the animation as well as also the showrunner being Mark Zaslav who was a longtime Disney writer and producer. And now for the character roll call. First, the titular character herself, Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane is one of those rare female characters that, even though she's a strong, independent woman, she's also not afraid to ask for help. She is resourceful, smart, and kind. But if you disrespect her, or if you're breaking the law, she'll she can quickly turn and take you down with either her bullwhip or her revolvers. Then we have Joe Presto, who's like her sidekick. He's the father figure of the duo, as well as also being the voice of reason. He's the comedy relief of the show, being the cranky old man. But the two have a very good dynamic together. And now we come to Captain John O'Rourke. Who will often ask her assistance on cases revolving the natives. Because Clammy Jane has a long history with the natives and she's French with a lot of them. He's a good man. And it's clear that Captain O'Rourke and Clam Jean really respect each other. But he does have kind of a bias against natives. He's a captain in the U.S. military. And he has fought against the natives on many different occasions. And then we have Wild Bill Hickok, who is a gunslinger and gambler that Clammy Jane has a history with. He's stubborn and a little shifty, but he's a good man at heart, and he really cares for Calamity. And he's also one of the best gunslingers in the whole West. So he's not someone to be trifled with. There are a number of other minor characters that pop up here and there. Like the people who run the saloon that Calamity spends a lot of time at. As well as the sheriff and his deputies. There are a couple recurring villains, but since the show didn't run all that long, most of the villains are one-off villains. The Legend of Calamity Jane is a show that needs to be released on DVD or Blu-ray or released digitally because it is a great show with awesome action sequences, nice music, some good performances from the voice actors, strong storytelling, dealing with some really heavy issues and doing it in a respectable way. Having a protagonist who pulls off amazing feats, but at the same time isn't invincible, and she takes her beatings, but she keeps on going. As of now, really the only way you can watch it is on YouTube. Well, till next time, see ya.